members have joined write the heading method of partial fractions that is you have to find the laplace transform by using the method of partial fractions find l inverse of find l inverse of 1 by s plus 1 s plus 3 So here this is a very simple problem. First, we have to do the partial fraction for this. One by s plus one, s plus three equal to a by s plus one, b by s plus three. So one by s plus one, s plus three equal to s plus one, s plus three, a into S plus three plus b into s plus one. So, if you substitute in s equal to minus three, you will get that one equal to zero plus minus two b. So, b equal to minus one by two. <coughs> So substituting s equal to minus one, one equal to y into minus one two y. So y equal to one by two. Therefore, this can be written as l inverse of one by x plus one s plus three equal to y. Y is one by two. So p is also one by two. Take it outside one by two. One by s plus one minus one by s plus three. That is equal to one by two e power minus t minus e power minus three t is the answer for. Second one, find the inverse of find the inverse of one minus s by one plus s s square plus four s plus thirteen. So how can you write that? 
1 minus s by 1 plus s x square plus 4s plus 13 equal to a by s plus 1 a by s plus 1 s square plus 4s plus bs plus c divided by s square plus 4s any doubts in partial fraction so 1 minus s equal to a into s square plus 4s plus 13 plus bs plus c into s plus 1 substituting s equal to minus 1 2 equal to a into 1 minus 4 plus 13 plus 0 so 2 equal to 13 14 minus 4 10 a so a equal to 1 by 5 a equal to 1 by 5 similarly you have to find p and c value How to find B and C value equating the coefficient of S. Equating the coefficient of S. Or equating the coefficient of S square we can do. If we extend that coefficient of S square 0 equal to a plus b s square na b so b equal to minus a minus 1 by 5 how to find c how to find c Am I addable? Yes, sir. Hmm. From your side, there is no response. Sir, S is oh. equal to 0. Ah. Substituting S equal to 0. Hmm. That means if you are substituting S equal to 0. Okay. Fine. 1 equal to 13J. plus c so 1 equal to 13 a a is 1 by 5 so 13 by 5 plus c so 1 minus 13 by 5 equal to c 5 minus 13 minus 8 by 5 equal to c. so what is the value of l inverse therefore l inverse of you can find a by s plus 1. a is 1 by 5 s plus 1. 1 by 5 s plus 1. Plus b s plus c. b s. B, b is minus 1 by 5. s plus c. c is minus 8 by 5 divided by s square plus 4s 4s plus 13 okay so here 
L inverse of 1 by 5 s plus 1, we can do that. 1 by 5 e power minus t. But second one is somewhat minus 1 by 5. Minus 1 by 5. Yes, by S square plus 2. S plus 2 whole square plus 9, that means 3 square. So if you are taking that 1 by 5 outside, S minus 8 you are getting. S minus 8 you are getting. So by shifting property, by shifting property, you have to do that. S plus tends to tends to yes uh, when e power sub multiple with e power minus 2t so 1 by 5 e power minus t e power minus 2t l inverse no? already we are finding l inverse here only we have to write l inverse so e power minus 2t l inverse of if you are writing s plus tends to yes uh, s tends to s minus 2 s minus 2 minus 8 s minus 10 divided by s square plus 3 square. So 1 by 5 e power minus 1 by 5 e power minus t minus e power minus 2 t s by s square plus 3 square remaining is minus 10 by minus 10 by s square plus 3 square. So what is the next step? 1 by 5 e power minus t minus e power minus 2t L inverse. Here you have to write L inverse. Huh? S by S square plus T square. Cos 3T. Cos 3T. Plus minus 10 by 3. Sin 3T. This is the answer for this. Find L inverse of 1 by S square into S plus 2. L inverse of 1 by S square into S plus 2. Excuse me, sir. Hmm. So there we are taking minus i in common, so it should be s plus 8. Hmm. Okay. So s plus 8 means here we are taking minus minus outside r. So s plus 8 here. Then s minus 2. S plus 6, uh, we should get S plus 6. Uh. Is it not? I make correct or need to change? Your point is correct. S plus 6. Uh. So here 6 by 3, 2. 2 sin 3 t.
so for this type of problem how can you do what is the partial fraction here how can we write the partial fraction 1 by s square s plus 2 equal to anybody can you tell me the answer for this ஏன் யாருமே சொல்ல மாட்டேங்கிறீங்க தெரியல இல்ல சொல்றதுக்கு மனசு இல்லையா ஓகே ஒன் ஈக்வல் டு ஏ இன்டு எஸ் பிளஸ் டூ பிளஸ் பி ஏ இன்டு எஸ் பிளஸ் டூனா ஏ இன்டு எஸ் பிளஸ் டூ இஸ் கரெக்டா இருக்கு சம் அதர் திங்ஸ் எனக்கு <laughs> substituting s equal to minus 2 1 equal to 4c c equal to 1 by 4 second step how we find a and b how can we find a and b s equal to 0 hmm s equal to 0 hmm s equal to 0 means 1 equal to 0 c 0 2b so b equal to 1 by 2 hmm then we have to find a na equating the coefficient of s square equating the coefficient of s square we get that 0 equal to a plus c a 0 equal to a plus c a equal to minus c so that is a equal to minus 1 by c that's what that l inverse becomes l inverse of minus 1 by 4s plus b b is 1 by 2 uh, plus 1 by 2 s square plus c by s plus 2 plus 1 by 4 s plus 2 so that is equal to minus 1 by 4 plus c by 2 plus 1 by 4 e power minus 
If you problem path practice, problems for practice, one, find L inverse of, find L inverse of by S into S plus one, S plus two, find L inverse of, One by s square plus a square s square plus b square third problem l inverse of y s square y s square minus 15 s minus 11 divided by S plus one into S minus two whole cube. So please try afterwards. Convolution of two functions. This is one important from CQ. Convolution of two functions. If you have T and G of T are given functions. given functions then the convolution evolution of the part p and the g of p is is denoted by you know that it is of star g and is defined as this and is defined as f star g equal to integral over zero to infinity f of u into g of t minus u d Zero to zero to t zero to t f of u g of t minus u the u the Fourier transform only should be the zero to infinity here zero to t and it is denoted by f star g. Convolution theorem.
convolution theorem if the laplace transform of your of t equal to your of s and laplace transform of g of t equal to g of s then laplace transform of f of t so g of t equal to f of s into g of s that is that is laplace transform of convolution of two functions is is equal to is equal to product of product of laplace transform of two functions therefore we can write the note here the fourth thing star g of t equal to l inverse of f of f s into g of s that means l inverse of l inverse of f of f s star L inverse of g of s equal to L inverse of the focus dot g of s. Clear up the board. Problems using convolution theorem. Problems. using convolution theorem using convolution theorem using convolution theorem find l inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 1 So how to find this? L inverse of here. L inverse of f of s 
g of s equal to f of t star g of t. So here you can take that one by s into one by s square plus one, which is right. So where f of s equal to one by s, g of s equal to one by s square plus one. Therefore, f of t equal to one. g of t equal to sin t so f of t star g of t equal to integral over 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du If g of t is sin t, then we can write that L inverse of one by s into s square plus one that is equal to integral over zero to t by using the convolution theorem. F of u, f of u is one. G of t minus u, g of t minus u is What is g of t minus u? Sine t minus u. Du. Integrate this sine t minus u. Minus cos t minus u. Minus cos t minus u by minus one from zero to t. So minus minus plus cos t minus t minus cos t minus zero. So what is the answer? One minus cos t is the answer. Laplace inverse of one by s into s square plus one is one minus cos t. One minus cos t. Even this also can be written as sorry. We can solve it. We can solve this. By using the partial fraction method. In case if they are not mentioned the convolution theorem, we can use that partial fraction method also. Find L inverse of s by s square plus s square root square. Find L inverse of s by s square plus s square whole square using convolution theorem. Using convolution theorem. If they are not mentioned that using convolution theorem, we can use that. One more formula: L inverse of pi dash of s equal to integral over zero to t f of t dt. That formula we can do. So how can we solve this? S by s square plus a square. We can write this as s by s square plus a square one by s square plus a square one by s square plus a square. So here f of s is s by s square plus a square.
gr plus equal to 1 by s square plus a square. So what is f of t here? Cos a t g of t equal to 1 by a sin a t. Therefore, this value is f of t star g of t equal to integral of 0 t f of u g of t minus u du. So, integral of 0 to t f of u is cos a u take that 1 by a outside sin a into t minus u du what is cos a sin b formula cos a sin b formula anybody already mentioned many times you have to learn all the trigonometric formula multiple formula uh, 1 by 2 1, one by, by 2 of sin a plus b uh, minus sin a minus b uh, hmm. so what you get cos a u so 1 by a integral over 0 to t Taking that 1 by 2 outside, 2a sin a plus b sin a u. So u u get cancelled. So sin a t sin a t minus sin a u plus minus na. Minus means plus a u minus a u two a u sine two a u minus a t into t u. So one by two a. What is integration of sin a t? Yes. Anybody? Minus cos a t by a. Uh, wrong. Any other? Sir, A by S square plus A square. Okay. Now, integration category is going to be Laplace inverse. Laplace transform. Sir, A cos AT. Okay. Okay. Here, I'm going to be correct. Cos A T by A. Adhan, nalle sunang adhun tapto. Sir, integration with respect to U. Clue kurtu ta. I gave the clue for you. You are integrating with respect to U. Then what is sin A T integration? Sin A T U. Correct. In a sin A T is constant with respect to U. So sin A T into U. From 0 to T minus sin 2 A U minus A T na you are integrated with respect to U. So minus sin is minus plus 
cos 2AU minus AT divided by 2A from 0 to T. Now apply the upper limit and lower limit. Apply the upper limit and lower limit. T sin AT. T sin AT minus 0. Leave it plus 1 by 2a outside 1 by 2a is there here also 1 by 2a is there take it out 1 by 2a sin 80 plus Two eighty minus eighty is cos eighty. Cos eighty. Cos eighty minus zero. Substituting zero. Cos of minus cos only. Zero. So T sin eighty by this is the answer for this. Okay. Please stop the recording.